This week's spotlight features Stolid, a community member who's been hard at work putting together some rather interesting mutators. And the first one we're going to look at is the bio launcher. Now most players would agree that the primary fire on the bio rifle in its current form isn't very viable or useful in any way shape or form and most people will use that secondary fire instead. So Stolid went about putting a fix to that in his weapons mutator, which replaces that low damage sticky goo into more of a bouncing ball grenade launcher making it much more useful in that area denial department, as well as being more handy in a vertical fight against an opponent that has the higher ground advantage, and just generally overall a much better defensive weapon. Now it still has that famous secondary fire big bio ball which we all know and love, but it also now can be combined with the primary fire to make a bio web. This web can block doorways or temporarily slow down your opponents long enough for you to get away or even kill them if they're a little bit silly enough to walk through it. Now the bioweb has been in this current Unreal Tournament for quite some time already but due to its current implementation it's kind of underwhelming as the long setup times are often more of a hindrance rather than an asset to you. But with Stolid's Mutator this current process is sped up considerably making the bioweb much more viable and maybe more useful in future games. He's also been tinkering with the alternate fire mode for the rocket launcher, which changes that salvo style secondary fire mode and replaces it with some sticky rockets that fire in a widespread formation, very similar to how the rockets used to fire in the previous versions of the game, but instead of exploding on impact they now stick to anyone or anything they hit and detonate after a short fuse timer runs out. It's a fairly interesting idea and I was having way too much fun attaching rockets to bots and it was way more satisfying than I thought it would be. But the mutator isn't currently available to the public yet so it does need further online testing against real opponents to see how it fares up. Stolid has also been trying to polish up the Unreal Tournament movement as well by making minor tweaks and changes with his mutator, adjusting values to jump height, dodge length, gravity and many other variables as well. Now this movement system is heavily influenced by that UT99 movement system but you still have all those new features such as wall running, sliding and sprinting but with a little bit of a twist and a unique feel to it that actually makes it feel more solid and a little bit more responsive on the whole and at first I didn't think I'd really enjoy this movement system but it has gradually grown on me over time. I just wish more online servers supported the mutator so we could have some more further testing online. Now if you'd like more information on Stolid's mutators make sure to click on the YouTube description below there you can find the links to the Unreal Tournament forums where there's more discussions on the matter as well as the download links to the mutators. Anyways that just about rounds up this week's episode of Stolid's Prototypes. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below and if this kind of content was your cup of tea make sure to hit that subscribe button. And guys if you've got any Unreal Tournament content whether it be a frag video, audio track, artwork, modeling, level design, game modes, whatever it may be and you'd love to see it featured on the Frag Center Spotlight you can get in touch with me on the Unreal Tournament forums just simply search Zaccubus there.